Pressure groups under the Confederation of Meghalaya Social Organization or COMSO took to the streets again today demanding early implementation of the inner lined permit system. Gomzo members took out a torch rally in support of their ILP demand while commemorating the 158th death anniversary of legendary freedom fighter Yu Kiang Nongba. Talking to Northeast Live, Gomzo Secretary Roy Cooper Sindrem said that the torch rally was carried to express displeasure over alleged apathy of the centre in addressing the ILP demand. The Comso has also warned of intensifying the agitation if the ILP demand is not paid heed to soon. All right, so this is indeed a tough focus at the South viewers. A pressure groups under the Confederation of Meghalaya Social Organization or COMSO took to the streets again today demanding early implementation of the inner line permit system. And COMSO members took out a torch rally in support of their ILP demand while commemorating the 158th death anniversary of legendary freedom fighter Yu Kiang Nongba. And uh, talking to Northeast Live, Comso Secretary Roy Cooper Sindrem said that torch rally was carried to express displeasure over alleged apathy of the center in addressing the ILP demand. The Comso has also warned of intensifying the agitation if the ILP demand is not paid heed to soon. <laughs> We are commemorating the 158th uh, death anniversary of Hua Kiang Nangba, who is a freedom fighter of the uh, Nyo Trap people, uh, hailing from Jainti Hills. And at the same time, we wanted to uh, carry out this torch rally as uh, to show our displeasure, to show that we are not happy with the adamant attitude of the government, the central government, especially on the back in the uh, background that we we have seen the Union Home Minister. Recently, in his speech in, in Manipur, he has categorically stated that Manipur, in fact, did not even ask for ILP. But still, PM, uh, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has given it as a gift, the greatest gift to the indigenous people of Manipur. So the question we wanted to ask the uh, NDA government in the leadership of PM Modi as well as the Home Minister uh, uh, Amit Shah, like, why, why, what is this uh, uh, stepmotherly attitude to the, uh, to the people of Meghalaya? We have been asking for ILP since the year 1980s. This is not the first time. And officially, last year, the state assembly, uh, the 60 representatives of the people of the state, has unanimously passed a resolution impressing upon the central government that it is high time that Meghalaya should get ILP. But it seems that uh, the central government is uh, not, uh, is not uh, giving its, uh, the, you know, our dues. So we wanted to carry out this torch rally to show that this is just the beginning, as we are saying, that next year the, 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 the protest will be more bigger than this, than we are carrying out today. All right, our uh, news editor Nabrun Goswami joins us over the phone line to give his perspective on this uh, big development uh, coming in from Meghalaya, where uh, Nabrun, as a Komzo, again takes to the streets, uh, demanding ILP torchlight uh, rally out in, on the streets. So what is your perspective on this? Yes, Pooja, big, big procession. As we can see, this is by far the biggest, biggest ILP demonstration, pro-ILP demonstration in Meghalaya this year. One thing is certain, the pressure groups, be it the Comto, be it the KSU, they will be, they will continue to be relentless in their efforts as far as demand for the ILP is concerned. Yes, 
Uh, this protest was lined up from before the last uh, demonstration of the year, October 30th, also uh, remembering Wu Kyang Nanba, the freedom fighter, Nanba, the freedom fighter. Uh, but uh, clearly the intent is clear. The pressure groups are, are keeping a track of every development. You know, Home Minister, as we heard, uh, the, the, the Roy Cooper syndrome, the General Secretary of Council, pointing out that even Home Minister Amit Shah, during his recent visit to Manipur, points out how, in a way, Manipur was gifted ILP for the protection of the indigenous people. So uh, the bone of contention is why not Meghalaya, is what they're mentioning. And uh, the, the, the visuals, uh, Puja, the visuals on the screen, they speak for themselves. The ILP demand has, without doubt, gained more momentum today, as you can see. All this time we had, uh, if, if we can term them, symbolic protests, symbolic demonstrations. Of course, the COVID pandemic had a role to play in that. But uh, today, today we see a huge gathering, hundreds, hundreds taking part in this pro-ILP profession, pro-ILP education in Shillong. And uh, clearly, uh, the Congress Sangma-led government in the state, uh, the center, uh, will have the task cut out as far as the ILP demand from the pressure group in Meghalaya is concerned. Uh, the demand, the protest, uh, seeing seeing this, seeing the scenes today, uh, we, 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 we can predict that the protests may intensify come New Year, come 2021. The protests will definitely intensify. It definitely will grow bigger. Right, uh, this is indeed uh, a big rally out uh, in the st uh, streets of uh, Shillong there by Komso. Well, uh, Nabrun, they have also said that they will intensify the story if their demands are not met. Absolutely, Suja. Uh, well, as, as, as we know, uh, you know, for the last two months, the last in the last two months, there have been there have been continuous protests in Shillong, a demonstration every week, almost every ten days, and uh, despite repeated assurances, not just by the chief minister, even by the governor, Satpal Malik, uh, the protests have continued because the pressure groups have been saying that, well, uh, we, this is a long-standing demand and we will not relent unless ILP is implemented. They have a feeling that if the protests stop, probably it will take longer than it should. Uh, when the state government passed the resolution, uh, a unanimous resolution in the state assembly, Mekhala Legislative Assembly last year, it seemed as though the ILP issue uh, may become, the, the implementation of ILP may become a reality uh, by early 2020, but that did not happen. Of course, but due to the COVID pandemic, everything got delayed. But since October, since October, uh, things uh, were mobilized again, and the pressure groups have been more active than ever. Uh, they realized this is the best opportunity probably to get ILP implemented, uh, especially in the week of Manipur uh, getting ILP last year, and right. they do not want to let go of this opportunity. And that's why the protests are likely to intensify. Uh, the Opposition Congress is also playing its role in it. The Opposition Congress, which has, uh, uh, which itself was not a big fan of the ILP system, when in part has now pitched in for the ILP. Of course, it's, it's political, so that's understood. Uh, but nevertheless, this is perhaps the biggest, uh, one of the biggest uh, ILP movement uh, that Meghalaya will be witnessing. And today, if, if today's position is the indication of things to come, then the Congress Sangmalat government will have to handle it.